What's up, everybody? You're watching the Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Pleasure to be joined by Karima Westbrook. All American coming back for a brand new season on CW. Karima, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you too. I'm doing pretty good. Happy that it's Friday. Definitely happy about that. And I'm yeah. sure you're thrilled about another season of the show. And listen, this was already a thing on the CW. It gets onto Netflix, it becomes even bigger. How crazy has this whole experience been for you? Just kind of take me back and you know, just describe what it's all been like. It's been a lot of fun. You know, this is my first role as a series regular on television. And what a great show to be a part of. So it's it's a lot of fun. I love seeing how the fans respond to the show and how they're so into all the characters. And, you know, so it's just been a fun ride, you know. A lot of people are interested in Grace and her story and her journey throughout the show. What were you most focused on when you first got the role in terms of building out this character? I was most focused on uh, being a mom because I don't have kids in real life. So I was a little worried about, uh, you know, if people would believe I was a mom, you know. Um, but my biggest thing was really trying to understand the world. I had a chance to, of course, meet Spencer Paysinger, who the show is um, inspired by. I had a chance to talk to his mom and, you know, I had to learn about football because I had no idea. I had, I had no understanding of football. I mean, I know of football, but I didn't know like the positions and the actual game of it. So that was one, one of the things that I uh, educated myself on, you know. Well, you just hit on a couple of different things. So you have Spencer's story, you have the football side of it, you even just have what's going on in the area, right? In California, there's all these different fascinating parts. What do you think is most intriguing about the show when you take a step back from it all? I think the most intriguing part of the show I think is the writing, just the stories, the heart. You know, I think that the show has a lot of heart. It's very relatable. And, you know, uh, I'm an adult now, but I understand a lot of things that the teens are going through. And I, I love that it's just real life. You know, it's very, very relatable. And that's what I love about it. Uh, that's what intrigues me the most is just the storylines and just seeing how the characters respond and live through those times. And I just think it's very real. It's very grounded in a lot of ways. I mean, I think all those things come across in the show and the fact that this is your first series regular is, is pretty yeah. incredible. So what has been most surprising about the experience so far? What's been most surprising is <laughs> for me, is like when kids reach out to me for advice or, you know, I'm just always surprised when people ask me for parenting advice or, uh, just advice in general. You know, a lot of times people take the characters very serious, you know. Um, I, not with just my show, I think in, a lot of times, you know, people think that acting is just real and, you know, they get so lost in the, in the worlds of the shows. And so the most surprising for me was just the amount of kids who reached out to me for advice, you know, and... Yeah. Uh, it just right? started to feel like a bigger responsibility. Although I already felt like it was a big responsibility, but it made me just even more mindful of, you know, what I do and what I say online. I, you know, I definitely understand the age range of kids that watch me. And, and if I could do anything to inspire them off screen, I definitely want to do that. I mean, it's really incredible, right? You're just trying to book a role, continue to build out your career. Never thinking to myself, like, I'm gonna have a 15 year old that's reaching out to me. I'm gonna have a, an 18 year old that's reaching out to me, right? Like, that's yeah. a whole different level. So, you know, you don't have to go into specifics, but like, what are some of the things that kids are asking you here? What kind of advice are they seeking for them, from you at this point? I mean, I've had kids reach out to me. I've had, I had a young lady reach out to me once who had a baby and she said she needed help, you know, raising her kid. And if I could give her any advice, parenting advice. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm not a real parent, but I'll, I'll try, you know. <laughs> um, so that was one thing. And then some things that's like really heavy where I feel like there's a counselor that needs to be involved, you know, I'm not a therapist. So a lot of times they just want someone to talk to. They'll talk about family issues, family problems, um, but the biggest one for me that I just really left an imprint was the young lady who just had a baby and she just needed advice on parenting, you know, and I, you know, I thought it was very sweet, but I also was like, I wish I knew, you know, like I, you know, I don't have kids myself, but that just to me that confirmed even more how much they really believe 
in the roles that we portray and they really feel like I'm a good mom. I've heard things like, oh, you're, you're the best thing since Claire Huxtable. And I'm like, what, me? Claire, Claire Huxtable, now that's- the I best mean, that's, that's quite a, quite a yeah. good vision, right? I mean, seriously. So it's, it's all very flattering. It's all very humbling. And, you know, I'm very thankful that they are in, enjoying the show, but also learning from the show. You know, I've had messages from kids saying how it changed their lives and, um, you know, they want to be like Spencer. So it's inspiring them and it's offering diff offering them different perspectives, which is really nice. Well, you said before you met Spencer's mom, what jumped out about her? What was most interesting to you about that woman? I think she's very sweet. She's also a Libra like me. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, okay, this was meant to be. Um, but she's, she's a sweetheart, you know? Um, and I just, you know, I love that, you know, she raised her boys. I mean, she did, I mean, Spencer Pacinger is a fantastic kid. I mean, he's not a kid anymore, but look how he turned out. You know, she, she's done a fantastic job with him. He's such a talented stand-up guy. And uh, I'm very impressed with him. You know, he's so young and now he has this show and, you know, uh, businesses. So he's, he's doing very well. So she should be very proud, you know, of what he's grown into as an adult. So- it's really an incredible story. I mean, yeah. just like this whole show, right? Just the, the growth of it and even what's to come in this season. So when people are checking this out, Karima, what can they expect? Not giving anything away. What are some things that people are going to be interested in for this season? Oh, God. There's a lot happening uh, this season. Um, well, we got renewed for season four, so I'm very happy about that. I don't, I mean, I, I can't, you know, I can't give any spoilers. I know. But just, just give me, give me some breadcrumbs here. Give me some themes. Little, bread, little, little sprinkles. Um, <laughs> uh, what can I say? Well, I honestly feel like, um, <sighs> hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I, I, there's some good stuff coming and things that no one will really anticipate uh of course there's there's more there's more drama of course but i, I feel like I, there's there's nothing i can really say without without it being a spoiler honestly because anything there's so much coming if i say speak on any of it it'll be a spoiler basically at this point you know I hear you. We're all going to be checking it out anyway. That's fair. We, just, That's we know fair. that things are going to happen that we don't anticipate. At least I got that out of you. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like it. Well, Karima, really nice to meet you. Congrats on success. You, you did a great job with the show, and we'll talk to you down the road, right? Thank you. Yes, absolutely.